Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is repair day. I gotta swap out the motor here and let me show you what it's doing. You see that? Watch closely. See that little button? Yep, bad motor. At least I think it's a motor. I'm pretty sure it's not ESC. So I'm gonna swap out the motor and we'll see. At first I thought it might be the bell like it had this weird kind of real twitchy as you turn it so I swapped bells for a good bell now it's nice and smooth but it's still doing the same thing not quite as bad as it was with the other bell so there probably was some damage to the bell too but there's definitely something going on with that motor it gets nice and warm too after flying a bit let's uh, let's fix this motor and then I've got to just kind of reassemble this one I had to swap out the MIPI cable here I already did that. Um, I'll give you a close look up. Here's my view of what it looks like on the inside. You can kind of see my solder joints there. They're not terrible. I've seen worse. I've seen better too. But um, anyways, that is that. We're going to do both those things, and I have my fleet back together and flying it. That's where my other top plate broke was right there and this one's doing the same thing with that it's cracked right there so what we're going to do is we're going to get a new top plate huh <sighs> I need to order some more of these this is the weak point Bubby right here buddy this needs to be uh, strengthened probably make this a little wider because honestly yeah I mean honestly that's not needed to be this huge Maybe with the right cameras, might be. With a high enough up tilt. But it'd be nice to have this solid right there. For me, it would be better to be solid right there. All the way across. Fill that all in so this wouldn't be a weak point. At the very least, widen this a little bit here. Widen this a little bit here and here. And on the inside will be good. Weak point. I could have sworn I had another one of these. See, look, you can see this is where I broke all these at. This one I might just glue back. Then we'll put a little glue on there and we're going to press that in and use this one again. But I'll have to order some more. But see, this is some other ones I broke. See, same spot. This one's slightly different, but right there in the end on this one. But yeah, this is the weak point. This is the one weak point in the Moxie frame right in here. This needs to be beefed up, Bubby. We need. A beefier top plate here. You know what you could do? You could just make this thicker. Yes, it would add weight. Um, that would definitely uh, add weight. The simple fix would be to widen this a little bit here and beef up the front here a little bit. Just beef up all around it. That's that's what I think needs to be done. Just beef up all around these edges of this here. Make this wider. Be better. All right, so I got this. This is the magic stuff here. Into the set. I learned this trick from uh, Kevin Askey. I'm going kind to of smooth this out a little bit here. Don't have to be pretty. This is a freestyle frame after all. Alright. So the trick. You just press up on here. And boop, boop. So the beauty of stuff is it instantly hardens. And we can just wipe this off here. It's gonna look hideous. We can sand that though if we want. Boom. Harden that bad boy up. 
Now we need to file that a little bit there because what's going to happen now, this is probably going to have a hard time getting in there. See, that's going to have a hard time getting in there. I'm going to have to sand that out. So i got to get my little file and file that out a little bit so that this can fit in there. Otherwise, this can't fit in there because that's hard as can be. in there good. Alright, I think that'll work. These guys here with the little washer things. Helps to, uh, I didn't do that when I broke them before and I've done that since and it makes a big difference on um, durability. My little protection thing here this is used to hold used to be like a camera thing and then I made a fin out of it and the fin broke kind of slipped it that way but this just kind of protects this part here a little bit they make a actual protection thing I saw Roy Rot selling it now I think they took my idea and made it better but I claim they stole my idea I don't know maybe they didn't Maybe they thought of that entirely on their own. But being that these guys run action cams, I really doubt it. But somebody, somebody gave them the idea. And they've got one that goes actually over top of these, which is really a good idea, I think. But this raises it up enough to kind of protect it. But there sits over top of the whole thing, which probably would way better on protection. And then it looks smoother because it ain't got this nub. Here it's just nice and smooth on there. Noozle 3D makes it for them, I think. Boom. This one's back together now. All good. Ready to go and rip, I think. This one done. Now we gotta do this one. I gotta take the cross off here. And Check the direction. Oh, 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 oh. Boom, perfect. Well, hope you guys enjoyed that. Let's go fly a little bit. Okay. Hopefully we're recording this time. I would be very disappointed if I'm not recording this time. So came out earlier and flew both quads. Tested them out, make sure everything was good, everything was good. And get back. And apparently it didn't record my DVR. And apparently there's a bug, I guess. That happens sometimes. Somehow or the other, I don't know. Hopefully it records this time. So I reformatted the, uh, the SD card this time in the goggles again. And we're going to hope that this is recording. Because if it's not, well... You won't see this. So, let's fly a little bit 
and uh, yeah, just give give you all some uh, some flying here. I was just uh, practicing proximity earlier and was actually having fun with it. And really irritates me that I didn't get a save some of it because I had some pretty good stuff actually for a change. So, but you'll just have to take my word for it. I even had I even had fresh props and everything for y'all. I mean, I was going all out on you. I mean, who does that for his fans to give him fresh props every time? Not me. Oop. Guess I clipped the top of that uh, building coming out of there. There we go. That's what you expected. I hate when the video stops again. Oh! Good. And recording again. Alright. Hopefully... Man, that little blip, I gotta improve that. I gotta quit doing that. I think I got a bent prop. Dang it! Ah. All right, let's finish this battery out here. Oh, really? Ah. And I didn't bring my prop tool with me. All right, you know what I'm doing? I'm walking and getting my prop tool because I want to finish out this battery proper. Give you all the unfiltered crash session. Yeah, the prop is definitely loose. Ooh, that was close. All right. Let's go ahead and finish it out here. Beat up props, it sounds pretty good though. Bump. Ah, there land. We will call it at that. I am done. Y'all got the unfiltered session there. Maybe cut off some of the dead air though. But <laughs> ah, that's honestly how probably 90% of my sessions go. Maybe 95% of my sessions go that way. The harder that I push it, the more crashes that I have, of course. And then the more crashes that I have, the more frustrated I get. Particularly when I have 
not so much the crashes, but when I have stupid stuff like I get stuck or the prop comes loose or the one that really irritates me, as you can tell, is when the video goes rainbow. <sighs> I hate that when I'm not disconnected and the video goes rainbow. Really got to figure out a way to keep that from happening. Aside from not crashing. I mean, that's probably the biggest thing. Don't crash and that won't happen, right? Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the repair session and the crash session. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.